hello everyone welcome back to another informative video in this video i'm going to talk about something very important that i observe on this hot pepper as you would have seen i basically just pick this hot pepper and i observe something different now as you can see it is also uh, ripening right so give this just a few more days maybe another two days and it would have been totally ripe now if you look closely right right here this is not ripening right this is totally different from this this is basically all the hot pepper is ripening but this is totally different now there's another spot right here as well right now i know exactly what is going on here and i before i put this pepper away and before i use this pepper i wanted to tell you you know kind of teach you about this because it is it is quite a common occurrence right um and these white stuff that you are seeing on the hot pepper these are basically um dust right because where i live it's basically um limestone and then now when that break down it creates a lot of dust so when the dust blow it blows on the pepper and that is why you are seeing this white stuff here so all i'm going to do is just wash this right now let us get back to these pots here is one and here is another one now where this pepper was attached to the tree it there was only one leaf protecting this pepper right so you find that this pepper was subjected to a direct uh, impact of the sunlight right now this that you are seeing is what we call sun skull s-u-n s-c-a-l-d right um and this happens as i was saying when your fruits are getting hit are penetrated by direct sunlight and then when 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 there is consistent direct sunlight it, it burns it burns the 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 pepper right or whatever fruit you have on the on the plant whether tomato sweet pepper whatever right it, it burns the area that it is mostly penetrating right so as i said this that you are seeing here is sun skull of course the pepper is still good um, obviously i catch this from an early stage right because what could have happened is that um from this sun skull from this sunburn which and, and sun skull is basically the same as sunburn right because it's basically the sun burning the the surface of the of the pepper now um as i was also explaining what what causes this to happen so what happened is where this pepper was on the tree there was only one leaf protecting the the pepper so the, the leaf was basically kind of um, um intercepting the sunlight from from catching the from hitting the pepper directly so it kind of protected most of this pepper right but where it is where it has burned um obviously there wasn't any protection there so this goes to show you that um leaf coverage uh, um on your on your on your plants is very important right you cannot prune i know that <coughs> i know that many of you prune your plants you cannot prune all the leaves from where the the, the fruits are right from where the fruit set and and developing you cannot prune all the leaves because um you can subject the the pepper in this case or whatever um whatever else you are growing you can subject the, um those things to too much of a high intensity sunlight um 
And then now this depends on, you know, where you are growing because obviously some places get higher temperatures than others, right? So um, you cannot prune all the leaves from 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 where the the the, the fruit is setting, right? You have to basically understand that sun skull is real and it can basically reduce your the, the marketability of your produce right um because if this if this was more serious or or, or, or had a more larger um burnt era or skull era i could not market this nobody would want to buy this right and then what happened is um when you get a sun skull, you basically can also get a secondary infection, right? Where you can get a secondary infection of uh, like a fungal infection. So you can you can you can see uh, whether fungus or bacteria can start um, growing in this area because this area has basically been breached, right? Is that it has basically been breached because the cells here are basically dying because of the burn by the sun so um, this basically creates a breach um, into um, into the, the, the pepper so you find that fungal spores will now inoculate right and you know when whenever whether insects are bacteria or fungus they, they tend to they tend to start inoculating somewhere that they, 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 they think they, they think it is it is more susceptible to to to, to attack right so obviously this era here that, that are these two eras here that are burnt these two eras would be the eras that are uh, most susceptible to to attack right um so you find that the bacteria the fungi will start growing and these would basically be um secondary infection so the primary damage would have been the sun skull and the secondary infection would be whether you get a fungal attack or a bacterial attack. And if you get a fungal attack, then now you'll start, um, you know, see, maybe you'll see fungal spores, right? Um, maybe you'll see, um, you'll see the area start getting rotten, right? You know, because the, the fungus, they have inoculated and start multiplying and you find that your entire pepper starting to, to spoil, right? Um, so, as I said, I catch this early and, you know, you can just cut it off if you want um, and throw that part away. But apart from that, the rest of the pepper is fairly solid and it's, it's, it's a good size pepper as well, right? Um, and, you know, this is one important lesson that you must learn because it, it happens quite frequently with tomato and it happens quite frequently with sweet pepper right so whenever you see leaves hanging over some fruits i mean it and, and also it depends on the, the the impact of the sun if you find that you're not getting um certain direct impact then you can prune right but Pruning is another story. We have to talk about pruning because many of us are not pruning correctly, right? Um, so, you know, as I said, based on the impact of the sunlight, you can determine if you, if you should remove that leaf or not, right? Because if you remove a leaf that is kind of protecting the fruit from the, the direct sunlight, then you are going to end up with sun skull right and this can drastically reduce your your um produce marketability and in the long run reduce your profit if you're a commercial farmer so please bear this simple lesson in mind this simple lesson can if you don't adhere to it it can cost you a lot you know it doesn't make any sense you put um so many resources or so much resources into growing uh your hot pepper or whatever crop you are growing
to bring it to a stage where it is even ripening or you know just being mature and then you know because of certain decisions you basically drop the ball and cause um, your hard work to go go to waste so i hope this this lesson um, was beneficial to you i hope you learned something from it because i know that hot pepper production is 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 it's quite popular around the world, especially in the Caribbean. We plant a lot of hot pepper in the Caribbean, right? With a scotch bonnet pepper um, and other varieties, right? So just bear this little lesson in mind. And as usual, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Please remember to like the video. And I'll see you again in another video.